This gives us confidence as we navigate the challenges that life throws at us. Good morning, Archdeacon Cunningham. I hope you have recovered from your spiritual misadventure in St. Mary, fully recovered. Now people, about the video that went viral with the pastor preaching in the church and after he stopped preaching, he fell down, dropped down or collapsed, anything you want to call it, in front of the congregation. And as you know, the Prime Minister was there, Minister of Security was there, and some other MPs were also in the church. Now make it for understand that this funeral service was being held in Port Maria. And it was a funeral service of late Norma Gloria Creary OD. Norma Gloria Creary is the mother of Richard Creary the mayor and councillor of Port Maria. The funeral service was held on Saturday, October 5th, 2024 at 11 a.m. at the St. Mary Parish Church. Now, during the man's speech, as I said, he was saying some things about MPs, hell, heaven, Satan, and all these type of things. As I said, I didn't understand, but some people explained to me, and they say it is a story that they heard already. But people... During the man's tour, you can sit on Andrew Holness' face and say, Watcha, him never pleased with what the man is saying to people. And believe me, sir, right now, I know Andrew alone not pleased with what the pastor did say in the church. Richard Query, the son of Norma Gloria Query, he has something to say right now. So there's a voice not going around with his voice saying some things to the pastor because nobody. In a delicate section, they saw never like where the man has say people. Good morning, Archdeacon Cunningham. I hope you have recovered from your spiritual misadventure in St. Mary, fully recovered. I would like to register on behalf of the entire Creary family our disgust at the manner in which you used the pulpit at my mother's funeral a woman of extreme charity and dignity who operated in a very christian like way where you used her pulpit to engage in your own personal private political agenda we view this with abhorrence and complete and total displeasure it is our belief that if your political values far supersede your christian beliefs you should have declined to officiate at her service what you did we find reprehensible you attempted to use the homily which should be de dedicated to the memory of a great jamaican woman who happens to be a strong supporter of the labor party you use it as an opportunity to attack the prime minister who traveled 27 hours out of total respect 27 hours after 27 hours of flying he found it himself at the church along with other politicians from both sides of the aisle and you chose to use it as an opportunity to attack him i hope that you understand now that saint mary is not an easy place we are very spiritual people and i can assure you that when you said that amen my mother decided i am certain of it that she was not going to allow that disrespect to stand and clearly the good lord who you profess to support clearly agreed you know and i hope sir that many people who stay on the pulpit you all like to preach and teach and act like you are all holier than thou i hope this occurrence will be a lesson to you 
that as a man of God, preach the word of God, leave your own political views out of it. Disrespect is not Christian. Being a political hack is not Christian. There is a thing called time and place. And that, what you did there, was not the time and place. But it was Miss Norma's time and place. And I am sure that she is satisfied with the outcome. All the best to you, sir. And may this serve to make you and many others, including myself, more understanding of the ways of working of the Lord. I hope it will be a lesson not just to you, but to many others who would seek to do what you did. And I say this, whether the pastor is JLP or PNP, leave the politics of the pulpit. People, there you have it from Mayor and Councillor of Port Maria, Richard Query. Let us just watch a piece of the funeral right now. I don't have anything to say. Our transition. We all know that in the midst of life, we are in death. We know that life is uncertain and fragile. Therefore, it behoves us to live in preparation for our death. And Job reminds us that our days on earth are but a shadow. And the psalmist concurs in Psalm 39 and verse 4. Show me, Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. I would like to take this opportunity to challenge each and every one of us here this more afternoon to make the right choice. which is as simple as A, B, C. A, to admit that we have sinned and come short and we need a savior. We have sinned and come short of God's glory. All of us, without exception, we need to admit that. And B, we need to believe that Jesus, the good shepherd, died for our sins so that we may not die eternally, but live with him in glory. He says, I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am there will be also. Believe in God, believe also in me. And see, to confess that Jesus, the good shepherd, is Lord of our lives. We demonstrate this by how we live. And no doubt, Norma is a good example for us. Not a saint, but a good example for us. Let us make the right choice while we can. And not be like this MP, who while walking down the street one day is tragically hit by a truck and dies. His soul arrives in heaven and is met by Saint Peter. Before you settle in, it seems there's a problem. We seldom see high officials around here. We are not sure what to do with you. No problem. Just let me in, says the man. Well, I would like to, but I have my orders from higher up. What we will do is to have you spend one day in hell and one in heaven. Then you can choose where you spend eternity. Really? I have made up my mind. I want to be in heaven, says the MP. I'm sorry, but we have our rules. And with that, Peter escorts him to the elevator and he goes down and down and down to hell. The doors open. He finds himself in the middle of a green golf course. In the distance is a clubhouse, and standing in front of it are all his friends and other politicians who had worked with him. Everyone is happy and in need dresses. They run to greet him, shake his hand, and they reminisce about the good times they had getting rich at the expense of the people. They play a friendly game of golf, 
and then dine on lobster, caviar, and champagne. Also present is the devil, who is a very friendly and nice guy, who has a good time dancing and telling jokes. They are all having such a good time that before he rises, it's time to go. Everyone gives him a hearty farewell and wave while the elevator rises. The elevator goes up and up and the door reopens in heaven, where St. Peter is waiting for him. Now it's time to visit heaven. So 24 hours pass with the MP, joining a group of contented souls, move from cloud to cloud, playing the harp and singing. I guess that's what they do in heaven. They have a good time. And before he realizes that 24 hours have gone by and St. Peter returns. Well then, you have spent a day in hell and a day in heaven. Now choose your eternity. The MP reflects for a minute. Then he answers. Well, I would never have said it before. I mean, heaven has been good and delightful, but I think I would be better off in hell. So St. Peter escorts him to the elevator and he goes down and down to hell. The doors of the elevator open and is in the middle of a barren land, covered with waste and garbage. He sees his friends dressed in rags, picking up trash and putting them in, a black, in black bags as more trash falls from above. The devil comes over to him and puts his arm around his shoulder. I do not understand, stammers the MP. Yesterday I was here and there was a golf course and a clubhouse and we ate lobster and caviar and drank champagne and danced and had a great time. Now there's just a wasteland and my friends look miserable. What happened? The devil looks at him, smiles and says, yesterday we were campaigning. <laughs> Today you voted. Friends, I pray that we will make the right choice. To recognize that Jesus is a good shepherd of our souls. And each of us, in whatever sphere of life we are, we are called to display shepherding, caring qualities. So that men and women can see the good work that we do and bring honor and glory to our Father. So that when we will have passed through this life, our lives will be celebrated as we are now celebrating Norma's life. So, may we embrace the reality of being known and loved by the shepherd, responding to his sacrificial love with lives marked by trust, obedience, and a deepening intimacy with one who knows us completely. Amen. Please, I can go. Wait, sleep.